Good morning. Today's message is, when you hear hoofbeats, think horses, not zebras. Now this phrase is used widely in the medical community to remind doctors and nurse practitioners and phys uh, physician's assistants that when they are doing a diagnosis, to think about the more common ailment, the more common disease, and not some rare and exotic disease. That's more likely the right answer. I've found that the same principle applies to other things in life. For example, if your car won't start, chances are it's the battery, perhaps the alternator. It's probably not some obscure electrical connection buried somewhere deep in your engine. Likewise, when you go to school, um, the principle applies there. You may be taking a test or doing an assignment and think the teacher's trying to trick me or this is some trick question or trick answer. Chances are it is not. Chances are it's the obvious, more obvious answer and not some thing that you've never heard of. So think of that when you're taking a test or doing an assignment. I found that as we go through life, it's often the simple things that we should look for. The simple answer is often the right thing. For example, if you were to pray about something, you'll probably have a feeling one way or the other, feeling in your heart, feeling in your head, one way or the other. You're probably not gonna have a lightning bolt come down out of heaven and tell you the answer. So as you go through life, think horses, not zebras. Well, today I thought we'd take another field trip to a special place, a place that's near and dear to my heart. I'm saying that tongue in cheek, it's not that special, um, but it is near and dear to my heart. So let's head off there now. Well, here we are at our destination. Anyone want to venture a guess as to where we are? Anyone? Maybe uh, your mom might have a good idea. Or perhaps your dad. Maybe we should ask them. Well, there it is. Anyone guess right? Maybe mom or dad? The Home Depot. The largest home improvement center in the world. I think it's one of the top 25 companies in the world. It's pretty big. Well, here's something we might not have expected to find at Home Depot. A Christmas decoration. Giant Christmas trees. Those probably aren't here all the time. Maybe just around the holidays. Here's something that's really colorful. There are paint displays, all the different paint colors you can get. I know your mom's looked at those before. Nana sure has. And then they sell all these different paints and supplies. Wow. Look at all these lights. A lot of different lights. To choose from. But you can see what they look like and pick the ones you want. There's a lot. This is Uncle Dan's favorite aisle. It has all the pipe, plumbing supplies you could ever need. Maybe Kirk's too. Although Kirk does a lot of other things. Just about everything you need. Not a lot of people know about this section, an automotive section, where you can get things for cars and like that, including jacks and oil, antifreeze, and waxes and cleaners for your car at Home Depot. And of course, you're gonna find tools. Lots and lots of tools because everyone doing this type of work is going to use the tools. You might recognize some Bob Steve's used where your dad used around the home, house. There's lots and lots to choose from. On this side, I know you've probably seen some of these. Different saws and everything that you can use around the house. 
And of course, lots of wood, lumber. Oh, I love the smell of lumber. It smells really good here, these pine boards. But yeah, there's lots of different kinds of wood that's available for purchase here at Home Depot. Rows of it. These rows contain sheet goods, like plywood and particle board. Um, these sheet goods tend to be construction grade, not what you would use to build furniture or cabinets, although they do have a few selections which will work for that. So that's also good to know when you're looking for wood that you go to the right place. And a lot of people don't know that Home Depot has rental center. You can go in there. Inside the rental center, you can see that there are lots of tools to use, even chainsaws, things to use in your garden, um, things to use to clean carpets and floors. And of course, more industrial things like postal dinners, tile saws, generators, and whatever we need to rent from home depot, lawnmowers, and motor tillers. These tools out here, which are a lot, here's a man lift you can rent if you need one, a little excavator. Hoist, lift, and of course over there you see the Well, hopefully you learned a few things there about Home Depot, what they have to offer. Lots of, lots of things really. It's uh, a very good company, run very well, great prices, and they have a price guarantee that if someone tries to beat their price, they'll give you 10% off of the price the other person offered you. So it's really a good deal. I've used that a few times over the years and it's it's a nice guarantee. Lastly, just to remember, Home Depot teaches classes on how to do things. So if you want to learn how to tile or wallpaper or do some other task around the home, they'll teach the classes there, usually on the weekends, but they're free, free of charge, and they help you in your home improvement projects. So that's my advice for today. Look to the Home Depot if you get a chance. This is Papa Steve's Workshop. I'm Papa Steve.